Hello everyone, welcome back to another tutorial by OD Applications. We're continuing on where we have left off. So the next step is to go ahead and rename our application names, our package IDs, and bundle identifiers. So to do this, we'll go ahead and start with the iOS and then we'll move on to Android. So for iOS, we can come in here and go ahead and select on the drop down. We'll see the info.plst, so we'll go ahead and double click on that. And here we'll be able to change our name. So for example, if we don't want it to be example app, we can go ahead and change this to my application. And here we have what's known as the bundle identifier. This one you want to keep the com there at the beginning. You want to put something like your company name and then the app name afterwards. So that way it's kind of a standard format for other people to take a look at. You have traditional com, org, something of that nature, maybe even app, and then dot your company name and then dot the actual application name so here we'll just put in my app and again you want to make sure that these are either um, lowercase or with no spacing now keep in mind of the version and build number each of these will need to incrementally increase as you release updates so if you have a new update you've already published your app and now you're going to do a new update what you'll do is you'll make this one for example instead of a one you'll make it a two or you can change these other ones these other numbers here instead of a zero make them a one or so on so forth again you'll want to make sure that every build number just incrementally goes up from here so it'll be one two three four and five so on so forth for every single update that you release but since we haven't published this app we'll go ahead and make it a one so that way it's all version one all build one and then as we release updates it'll be version two build two so on and so forth I'm sure you guys understand so now this takes care of the iOS side we don't have to change any more of these settings so we'll go ahead and save this file and we can close it now moving on to Android we'll go ahead to the odapsview.android folder click the drop down or alternatively we'll just select on properties and here we'll be able to change the application name so here we have test app and continuing on keeping the same structure we'll just call this my application again we have uh, the package name so this will be com dot od applications dot my app again because we want to make sure that both of these are consistent for both Android and iOS as we're developing them again we will see here version number and version name this is pretty identical to what we're doing with iOS so again if we want to have our version number differently we can always go something like this and also have this as the build or version name and so we can simply click on save and now we've taken care of renaming our application and also changing the package name for Android and iOS to do that on Mac OS and UWP for Windows it's pretty much identical so go ahead and do that on your leisure so we'll be continuing on now with the next tutorial and the next step on how to actually connect to Firebase and some other services for Android iOS UWP and your entire project for OD apps view this concludes the tutorial so be sure to check the next video for more tutorials